Okay, let's take a look at the list box object. I'm going to create a new list box by clicking on this icon. And then I'm going to add some items here. We're just doing this for the original demo here. We'll take a closer look at this as we go along. I'm not adding any item data. I'm just adding item titles here. And I'm just doing this to illustrate this point. The list box is basically very, very similar, or the same, as the list menu object that you see in many web forms. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and type one last fruit here and press OK and move this down so that you can see what we're dealing with here. As you can see, it displays lists of items and it allows the users to interact with these lists. So I'll press F5 to preview this. And here we just have it set up to its default functionality. As you can see, it basically just allows them to select an item. Okay, let's take a quick look at the properties and we're just going to take a general look in this lesson. In the next tutorial we'll take a closer look. But as you can see there's a variety of ways that we can handle data here, a variety of ways that we can display data, and a variety of ways that we can manipulate this list box. For example, in the actions area we can react to a variety of different user inputs here. For example, on focus, such as when someone clicks on an object, or double click on select, that's when they select an item, or on key. So we can use a, a variety of different functionalities in conjunction with the list box object. Okay, so I'm going to press OK and we'll go on to the next tutorial where we'll take an in-depth look at the list box object properties.